Hey guys, it's Danielle. I am here to do another uh, curriculum review. Uh, this time it is on a program that we've used called Times Tales. Um, this program was designed to teach uh, the upper times tables slash multiplication, whatever you want to call it. Um, so we have used this. I really like this program. I say that about all my curriculum. I guess I need to find something that I've used that I didn't like and do a review on that. <laughs> we'll see. Um, but anyway, I um, really like this. Basically, it is a um, DVD program. So it comes with the actual DVD that you watch. And then it comes with a CD um, that you can print printables from to kind of reinforce what they've learned from the DVD. Um, I would try to post the link of the video that I watched on this to make me kind of decide it was something I wanted to try. But um, anyway, the way it works is it's short stories and they use the numbers to tell the stories. So for example, um, there's Mrs. Weeks, which is the number seven. Um, there's the chair, which is the number four. Um, kindergarten class, which is comp um, comprised of the number six a tree house, number nine. Um, so that's kind of how it works. And so basically it will tell a story. For example, it'll say um, the kindergarten class played musical chairs for four hours. Uh, or I'm sorry, the kindergarten class played musical chairs for 24 hours. So basically um, the number six, the number four equals 24. 6 times 4 equals 24. So that's kind of how um, the story works. So it uses these little characters together to tell a story. And so the way we did it is I would sit her down um, a couple times throughout the day and she would just watch the stories and learn the stories. And as she learned the stories, she was learning her um, upper multiplication. So um, once you memorize the stories, you've kind of memorized um, the answers. So that's why I really like it. So with her, um, like now when she's doing her drills, I'll say, think about your stories. Were these characters in your stories? And she's like, oh, yeah, that's right. You know, six and four, 24. And so that's how it works. Um, so they do the stories. And then at the end of the stories, they ask the child to kind of retell the story. And then there's a section where they leave out parts of the story and the child has to fill in um, that part of the story. So for me, all I had to do was teach the lower numbers, um, no ones, twos, threes, and then basically help her understand the concept of multiplication, why we would use multiplication and where it comes into play. And then with this, it did the rest as far as teaching that upper um, multiplication. And it also does that for division as well. Um, honestly, we didn't watch the division part because once she got her multiplication down, division came easy for her. So we haven't used it for the division. So I honestly can't say how that works. But um, as far as the multiplication part, I really like it. Again, it was like she was just watching little cartoons. So when we first started, she didn't even realize that she was doing school. She was just kind of watching these little stories. And then um, as time went on, she caught on like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> this is teaching me something. Um, but by that time, she had already learned it. So anyway, it's called Times Tales. I can't remember how much I paid for it, but um, very well worth it as far as teaching those upper multiplication facts. Um, very cute in how they tell the stories. The stories are short and sweet. I think they're like five minutes each. So it's not like you're watching... Um, a long part, a long story, and your child gets bored uh, really quick because they're short and sweet. Hey. That's what happens when you have kids. So um, it's not like um, 
it's telling a long, you know, story and then they get burnt out. So if you have a child that has short attention span, this is good for them also because the, sh the stories are short and sweet. But again, this is called Times Tales. If you guys have any questions about this or comments, if you used it, your thoughts on it, whatever, feel free to leave them. Um, and if not, I will talk to you guys soon. All right. Take two later. Bye.